Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to review and play, or actually it could be closer to a, just a let's play, the Smithsonian American Art Museum Beyond the Walls VR free-to-play game released on the Steam Store today for the Valve Index, HTC Vive, and the Oculus Rift. Obviously this is not really a game. This is a art museum that's been translated to VR, the Smithsonian to be precise. And it's really good. Uh, the art pieces are excellent, but it's very short. There's only two rooms and there's basically three different interactions that you can play around with. Uh, locomotion is by teleportation only. You only have one controller really that works. And you basically, you can teleport around anywhere you want within the defined area or you can go to one of the nodes so if you go to one of the nodes obviously you get a better view of the art piece and then you can press the a or x button this is it'll start an audio a lot of the pieces here are by are by abbott Henderson thayer so several of his art pieces are here um this is actually one of my favorite art pieces here i had never seen this one before this haunting painting by elihu vetter is the cup of death it's based on one it's of really good I, I really like this one um i believe this might be another thayer this painting is by abbott henderson yep. thayer this is his daughter He's known for his ethereal angels this one actually also looks pretty good it, it has like almost like a natural 3d effect angel is i'd like to see this in person just to see if it's all i would imagine that's how it looks like in person as well um this is the bronze sculpture Mason Hale, you is a, a little Hale, bronze statue created by Frederick McMoneys. Hale was an American soldier and spy during the Revolutionary War, who was captured. Um, obviously this is Joan of Arc, and obviously this, this is, is <laughs> the Golden Age by John Lafarge, known for his murals in Trinity Church in Boston, Church of the Ascension in New York City, and. I I think this is another dayer. The artist of this work. Yep. This is an oil painting by the self-taught painter Charles Walter. Okay. Okay. Those are all the paintings. And that area is locked off. So we only have this other room here. And there's three interactive pieces. And then there's... Let's look at the ones that aren't interactive first. This is a, probably the most fam famous, many consider the most famous art piece here. The 19th century, the Greek slave. I had seen this the one before. The first life-size fully nude sculpture of a woman exhibited to the public in the United States. The wow. sculptor, Hiram Powered. Very controversial there. This is the interlude by William Kendall. In it, you see one of his daughters and his wife. This painting by Henry O. Walker shows the white... You can't go to that area, it's locked off, so... I believe this is another this Thayer. This is not your standard family portrait. Although the artist, Abbott Henderson Thayer, had his children... Okay, so this is the start of three interactive pieces. So I'm going to click on this. That some of America's greatest sculptures I really like this sculpture as well. In 1885, Mary and it's described here really well, so I'm not going to go into that. Uh, if you click on again, you're transported to the actual funeral place. Yeah, so you can see there. Pretty cool. I haven't hung around here long enough to see if it changes. Maybe it goes to a day-night cycle. But it's not bad. Um, it looks different than I would have imagined a funeral, uh, cemetery to look at. Very interesting. Okay, and let's look at one more interactive piece. By the way, there's a film here. I'm not going to show that. It's a very short artistic film. There's like a volumetric uh, introduction as well. The introduction I think is longer than the actual uh, film. It's an artistic film. Now let's look at the last piece here. Have you ever? And again, um, you're transported. You can teleport around the area. I believe there's two different images. But you can see the aurora, aurora borealis. Uh, it's a static image, but the aurora borealis does move as well as you can see the water kind of does as well. 
and some of the lights change, but it's a static image. And there's one more uh, image. Here we go. And you see the Aurora Borealis better in the second image. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my review of the Smithsonian American Art Museum. I think if you're interested in art or the Smithsonian, this is worth down downloading. If not, you can probably skip it. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.